So, you want to upgrade your skills in video editing? You want to get familiar with tips and tricks of visual editing skills? You wish to learn about the best spices and flavors to add to your editing workflow for a unique and interesting output? Then, join us at the Maldzan Film Academy's One Week of Creative Editing as we cover storytelling, creative editing, motion graphics, and sound effect. Date is Monday, October the 23rd to Friday, October the 27th, 2023. The time is 3 p.m. daily. Venue is Zoom. Discounted prizes are available for past students of the Academy. Be sure to upload your certificates for proof of membership. To register, use this link on the screen. For more info, send an email to Mount Zion Film Academy at gmail.com or call these numbers. Classes will also be recorded so you can watch at your own convenience throughout the academic period. Mount Zion Film Academy, see you in class. I've reached the top! Ah, so where was I? Oh yes, subscription. Mm. Yeah. Special thanks to everyone that has subscribed to Damalamek Bamelo's YouTube channel. God bless you. And uh, to those about to click it, Jesus is coming soon. There is no time. So please, click right away. And uh, if it hasn't even crossed your mind, why? Why? Over half of those watching are not subscribers. Do I have to tell you why you need to subscribe? Because... Because it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs>
Yeah. How did you know my name? Ah. What is he doing here? Morenike. What is he doing with my son? Ah, calm down. Please calm down, Morenike. Were you the one sent to take him down? What? They want to sacrifice him. Were you sent to take him out? And you, what are you doing here? I went to your house, I did not see you. I thought they have got into you. Chief Sonia brought me here. <laughs> that is not possible. Why? Because he's a part of the fraternity. He's a changed man, mom. He's, he's a believer now. You can believe those lies at your home, Perry. This man, Sonia, is a devil's advocate. Is the genesis of all our problems. How? He introduced your father to the fraternity. Forgive me if I said I don't want you to have anything to do with him. Well, he has found the light and he can introduce us to it. Just the same way, introduce your father to the blood sucking court. If this man has not come into our life, your father would have still been a great man and husband. Your father would not have sacrificed your sister. You cannot compare Chief Sonia to that monster you call my father. Who made him the monster he did? No, he did not. Chief Sonia has been tried and tested. He's a changed man, I can vouch for him. What are you saying? Tried and tested by who? Excuse me, Murenike. I am still talking to my son. Stay out of this! But they did not sacrifice your daughter. What? But they didn't kill your daughter. And you know this because? <laughs> because I know who did. Who? I did. You did what? I killed your daughter. Jesus! for some time now. I hope you are okay. Yes, I'm very okay. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay. I want you to know that I'll be traveling this weekend for an, uh, for an assignment. An assignment? Yes, uh, it's work related. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. The team wants me to cover up a story. Wow. What story is that? Mm. It's not a serious story and uh, uh, the details are yet to be given to me by the time I get there you know, with this. Hmm. So are you saying that you don't know why you're traveling or what you're going there to do? Not really. What I'm saying is uh, everything is still hush hush, you know what I'm, I mean? And uh, when I get the, the details of the whole thing will reveal to me. Chooks. Yes? Don't lie to me. Why would I lie to you? You know? I remember how we used to be. We used to talk about everything. <laughs> you even told me things I wasn't interested in, Chooks. We were that chatty. But recently, you seem to be keeping so many things to yourself. Did you see or hear anything that I'm here to bring you to speak about? Why don't you just tell me and I will explain it to you? That's not the point. No. I'm just saying that you are acting outlandishly. You are acting strange. Is there something you are keeping from me? I'm not hiding anything from you. 
Is there something you are keeping from me, yes or no? No, stop asking that question and answer me. Why should I be keeping something away from you? You want my answer? Yes, I want your answer. Because I no longer know you. I don't know what you are capable of. For some days now, your conversations have been off. Off? How? It lacks substance. It's like you're speaking half truth, half lie. I'm, I'm not getting it. Eh? So you don't trust me? Chooks, is there something you are hiding from me? Any? You don't trust me? I want to. Then what's stopping you? You! How? But you've been running away from the one question I am asking. I'm not running away from it. Then answer it. See, why are you so bent on getting an answer? Because the answer to that question determines the future of this marriage. Hmm, really? <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> Chooks, is there anything you are hiding from me? No. I'm not hiding anything from you. Good. Can we not eat in peace? You killed my daughter. No, Enrique, please. I didn't know she was your daughter. You killed my baby girl. I'm sorry. Yes, oh yeah. Oh, Enrique, eh? calm down. There is nothing that God cannot resolve. I mean, there's no problem that Old God cannot shut solve. shut your mouth. Oh, Enrique. Not a word from you. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Oh, I am sorry. Please, 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 Murenike. This is war. Saya, this is war. This is war. Murenike, I regret it completely. Please. You have just made an enemy. Murenike, every day. Every night, I, I regret my past actions. Please. Please, Murenike, please, please, please. You slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Because she was nothing but a rich I tend to you. Murenike, please, I, I am ready to do anything to make it up to you. You want to make it up to me? No, 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 I... Ah! Ah! Murenike, Murenike. At this hour to oh. make it up to me. You want to make the death of my daughter to me? No, Murenike. I am ready to do anything. <laughs> anything. You don't need to do anything. Just sit down and relax. Please, mommy. Please come. You have a son, right? Mommy. He's walking around alive and happy. Mommy, stop. An eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth! No, no, Murenike, no! A son for a son! You think my husband is a monster? You think he's a murderer? You think he's a criminal? Watch me come for your son! Soya! Mommy, please stop talking! I will give you the same present you gave Badia now! Mommy! That is how to make it up to me. And if you Stand in my way. I will bring down your family. Ah, Jesus. Let's go. I can't follow you more. Let's go. I don't know who my mother is Let's anymore. Go! Please. Dele, I, I feel like I have demons living inside of me. Why did you say that? I, I, so, sometimes I feel like 
there's a spirit you know, using my thoughts to, to, to convey a message to me. I, I don't know if you understand. What is the spirit saying? So many times I, I, I had the spirit saying that I should commit suicide. I had the spirit telling me that I can never make it in life no matter how hard I try. Even, even right now, I can still hear the spirit. Right now? What is the voice telling you? The voice is saying that I have ruined so many people's lives and I'm not worth saving. Mm. God cannot forgive mm. someone like me. Even if God forgives me, I will be making the greatest error if I forgive myself. I've tried to shut this voice up, but they keep talking. So what I try to do is to just engage myself in all sorts of um, humanizing, all sorts of atrocities like humanizing, partying, just to shut them up. You know, I feel like being active as a way of temporarily shutting this voice out of my head. I don't know, do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, let me read to you a story from the Bible. Okay. Have you heard of the story of the madman of Gadara? The madman of Gadara? Yes. Who is that? <laughs> Just listen and pay attention. Oh, yes sir. I'll be reading from the book of Luke. Chapter 8 from verse 26 to verse 33. Okay. You know what? Could you open it? <laughs> I don't know how to open the Bible. <laughs> don't worry. You will learn it today. It's the word of God. And it is how you will hear God speaking to you. Um. Luke is in the New Testament. Oh. oh okay. Um... That means um, Genesis, Old, Old Testament, Revelation, mm. New Testament, and Luke should be in the middle. Exactly. In, in between. Uh, okay, I found it. I found okay. it. I found it. Okay, great. Um, let me read it to you. Oh, okay. When they arrived at the region of the Gadarenes, across the lake from Galilee, as Jesus went out, as he went out of the boat, a man possessed with many demons met him. The man was naked and homeless. He lived in the tombs outside the town. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The madman's case was hopeless, possessed by demons, and homeless, naked, living in the tomb. Yes, John. That is the case of any man who is not in Christ. Such a fellow is spiritually naked and living in the tomb of sin. Wow. So, all this why I have been wasting, wasting my life. I have been living in the tomb. Yes. Let's continue reading. When he saw Jesus. He cried out and fell before him and said with a loud voice, Why have you come to interfere with us, Jesus, son of the Most High God? Uh, wait. I, I, I remember... I remember some fellowship guys tried to preach to me, but I insulted and resisted them. There is a spirit in me that detested any sight or affiliation with Jesus. Could it be that I detested Jesus because there were demons in me? Hmm. John, the devil does not want any of his captives to go free. Let's continue reading. This spirit had often taken control of the man. Even when he was placed under guard, and put in chains and shackles. He simply broke them and rushed out into the wilderness, completely under the demon's power. 
Dilly, earlier today, I... I acted like a madman. Hmm. I want... I want to just break out of these inner chains and shackles by just ending ending my life. <laughs> Verse 30. Jesus demanded, What is your name? Legion replied, For it was filled with many demons. The demons kept begging Jesus not to send them into the bottomless pits. There happened to be a large herd of pigs feeding on the hillside nearby. Hmm. And the demons begged him to let them enter into the pigs. So Jesus gave them permission. Then the demons entered the pigs. And the entire herd plunged down the steep hillside into the lake and were drowned. Ah. So all the pigs committed suicide. Uh, well, the Bible says they plunged into the lake. So, um, technically, yes, we can see they committed suicide. So, if they had stayed longer in that man's life, he would have ended up just like the pigs? Well, I didn't see that way before. Wait, wait, wait. That means suicides are the manifestation of demonic oppressions. Hmm. I couldn't agree more. Dele. <laughs> See, if you guys didn't show up at that time you did, you would have met broken bones and a crushed skull. Because I was ready, ready to end it all. See, but um, Jesus can rescue everyone who comes to him. Jesus can deliver from the spirit of oppression and every form of demonic attack. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. <laughs> Aki, come back here! How the prodigal son returns? Welcome home. Mom, what was that? You want to know what I did? I fought for your life. So you think you can claim my daughter's life and run for sent in the hand of Baba Gbero? He lies! But he's a transformed man, Mom. Can his transformation resurrect my daughter? Mom, you should hear his story. He has passed through a lot. That man has his solution in his hands. He's the only one standing between me and death right now, as far as I'm concerned. The only person that can save you now is I, your mother! I can't trust you with my life, mother. Why? You can't even save yourself. You must be the biggest fool I ever seen in my entire life. Calm down, calm down. How can a man who killed your sister save you from death? That was in the past. He's a changed man now. Aki, open your ears and listen to me. He wants you dead. He and your father belong to the same cult. You are not safe there. You are not safe here. You are only safe with me. What we have to do now is to pack our bags and get out of this house. But where do you think you are going? Far away from you! That is not happening. What are you doing, Mom? You're making a big fool of yourself, Mrenike. Step back, Daddy! I want to talk to my son. You no longer have a son, you blood sucking vampire! You lie! Get out of my way! If you want to kill my son, you have to go through me! Murani Kevin, you are scaring the young man! What exactly is going on? Your mother is losing it! That is what is going on! Daddy, I don't want your trouble! I don't want to pack a few things and get out with my son! How a son? You no longer have a son, you lost him already! You lie! We are only packing our things! We are getting out of this house and never to come back! I will no longer argue or debate with you! Just remember that this boy is no longer a kid. He's a man, a married man. Wherever you take him, remember, he starts to go back to his wife. What you be will be. What do you mean? What is that thing that you be? You just wait and see. Only with my eyes. 
Only with my eyes will I be on and see the reward of the wicked. What will be the be? Ten thousand of you. Ten thousand of you cannot take away my son from me. You know why? What will be the be? <laughs> Psalm 91. Psalm 91. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand shall fall at my right hand side. But shall not come near us. Can somebody tell me what's happening? Stop all this drama. It's exhausting. I'm a man. I'm not a kid anymore. Stop treating me like a kid. Shut up, person down here. Uh-uh. I can't go see any. Follow me, Joe. <laughs> Don't walk out! Don't walk out of me, Aki! What is your problem? I can't believe what you did out there! I was asking myself, are you my mother? All I did is for your protection. I want you to trust me, Aki. I'm not safe out there and I'm not safe in here either. I hope you realize this is not a battle you win with your fists. I know! Then why were you out there fighting everyone that stood in your way? Because they were real enemy! Chief Sonia is not the enemy! He is! He no, he's not! Don't argue with me! You are the one arguing blindly! I'm trying to keep you safe. This is all you have to say to me? At least hear his story. He's a changed man now! Change? Can never erase the fact that he slaughtered your sister like an animal. Okay, so if the keys to my life were in his hands, let me ask you, will you still come for his life? Is a dead man already. What he did can never be undone. He's a dead man. Mom, please. You not see your sister's body. I saw it. I was unstable for three years. I am sorry. So he has to pay for everything he did to me. Okay, so what's your plan? My plan? How do you want to keep me safe? It's definitely not by keeping me here. I have called the merchant of fire. The merchant of what? Merchant of fire! Merchant of fire? What do they sell? Fire? We'll be meeting them tomorrow. Get yourself ready. How? You are not to eat anything until the prayers and rituals are done. Wait, wait, wait. I will not eat anything. It's just for tomorrow! A whole day! Do you have a problem with that? I have a problem with not eating anything for a whole day! Ah! For someone that has a death mark on his head, food should be the least of your worries! Mom, last last, everybody will die. If you ah. want to die tomorrow, go to the kitchen and knock yourself out. Chief Sire. I want you to be rest assured that God is in control. He sees all that is happening and he has a way out. So, is this how my past will continually wreck my life and my future? Chief Sire, don't allow man's opinion of your past. Wreck God's view of your future. So how can a man like me, with my terrible past, be the man God wants me to be? How? How exactly? See, even I myself cannot forgive myself of my terrible past. <laughs> if Sire. When you surrendered your life to Jesus, it wasn't only your present alone that you surrendered. You surrendered your past, your present, and your future. They are no longer yours. They are in the hands of God. So when the devil comes, when it comes up to remind you, you will remind him that your past is no longer in your hand. That your past is in the hands of God. Oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something from the scripture. You see, in the book of Romans, the book of Romans, the Bible says, Who shall lay charge against the elect of the Lord? 
It is God that justifies. Who is there to condemn us? Jesus. I surrender my all to you. Yes. I surrender my past. My present. My future. All to you. Yes. Mm. Babiru, so the devil can never bully me. He can never. He cannot. He can never bully you. The devil can never victimize me. No, he can never victimize you in Jesus' name. That's good. So let me share something with you in the Bible. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. It says, remember not the former things, neither consider the things of all. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Oh. Oh. Can you not see it? He says, I will make way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Oh. The Lord will cause a river to flow in your life for your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. And you will remember the past no more. You will remember the past no more. Amen. There's going to be a glorious invitation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hello, <laughs> mommy. You are back. Ah, daddy. Thank God for Martins today. Uh. If not for Martins, they have drove me down to that place. <laughs> the traffic was tense. Yeah, it was. It was actually. Ah. Martins, thank you very much. Uh, we thank God that you're welcome. <laughs> Chief, have you eaten? No. Eh? Eh? Daddy? Um, you mean you've not you've not eaten since, Daddy? Actually, I'm not hungry. Daddy? This was my fear. Eh? Immediately I came in and I saw Bible on the table. I know you have been feeding him with the word of God. Mm, yes. We actually have been having a great time in the word of God. A great time. You are having a great time and your visitor is hungry. But I, I am not hungry. He's not hungry. Daddy, I have told you several times that when you have a visitor with you, you first of all offer him the physical food before the spiritual food. It is not what you think, mommy. So you need to tell me that if I had not returned today, you will offer him Bible for dinner. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. Even though the Bible says man shall not live by bread alone. Baba Gbero, I know you starve your stomach, but for God's sake, value other people's stomach. Uh, I do. But actually, you know... Did you even ask him what he wanted for dinner? Yes. What would you want for dinner? I am not hungry. I guess as much. He's not hungry. Daddy, one cannot leave a visitor with you for a whole day without you subjecting him to a marathon fast. <laughs> but his wife was here. In few moments ago. Eh? Which body? Uh, the one and only. <laughs> you mean Sister Morenike? Exactly. Sister? She is sister. Uh, she was. She was. You mean Sister Morenike was it? And you did not even call me. What a very pleasant woman. I still need to put a call. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no. You no. have to come back. Um, What's, what's the issue? Uh, the issue is that, actually, you know... What does she want exactly? Uh, she came to pick her son. Oh! You mean her son was also here? 
Uh-uh. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what a very pleasant reunion it will have been. I still need to put a call to her because she has to come back. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no need. No, no. no. What was the issue? I mean, the issue is that. Why was the son here? He, Chief preached to him and he got one again. Wow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ah, oh, you did not call me daddy. I don't like to miss this kind of meeting, you know. I don't really like missing this kind of meeting. You see, actually, you didn't miss much. Yeah. We can assure you that you didn't miss much. Did you offer them anything? Huh? You didn't offer them anything. No, we did not. Mommy, there was no time for that. Let me guess. You offered them the word of God. Abi? Mm, uh, there was no time for that either. Mm. Mm. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Ma. Good afternoon, Ma. Why are you not home yet? Have you picked him? No, Ma. I'm staying in the school. I was told that someone else has come to pick him up. What's the meaning of that? Who picked him? Please give the phone to the admin. Good afternoon, ma. I don't like what I'm hearing. Where is my son? Someone came to pick him some minutes ago. He said it was from you. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't send anyone there. He called you and we spoke to you. You said we should hand him over. That's a lie. I didn't speak with anybody. I didn't receive such call. Where is my son? Are, are you saying my son has been kidnapped? Ah, oh my God. Ah, no, no. <sighs> Hello? Is that Officer Gabriel? Yes. I'm afraid to tell you that your husband has been shot. Chooks? Yes, he was shot while on official duty. Where is he? Please. Where is he? I understand that this must be incredibly difficult for you and your family. If you did any support... Who did this? Who did this? He was discovered lifeless early this morning in a gang-related warehouse. Where is he? We don't know. We don't know. Where is he? Madam, if we have the answer, we will give you. Chooks, where is he? Please, talk to me. Where is he? Where is he? Officer Gabriel. It is you? Yes, darling. It is me. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? When you step on a cobra steel, you're bound to feel its venomous bite. So be careful, Officer Gabriel. It is a dangerous world out there. Don't do this. Mr. Badi! Mr. Badi! Mr. Badi! You are there on your bed, enjoying yourself, while I'm out here, doing the dirty work. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. My wife is on my tail. I, I, I have to be discreet, discreet about this. Wait, you mean she's not in on it? She knows nothing of this. She has even moved me from the onset not to pursue this. So, if she catches you? Man, I'm roasted. So, you are technically cheating on her? This is my career we are talking about here. So what did you have? Ah, well, yes. I was able to get um, a connect. He's a member of uh, Commando's cult. How did you do it? Forget it. The most important thing is this. This guy will take you to the initiation point. Do you get me? And that's where you will meet Commando. Hmm? Am I going to be initiated? Of course now. You will be old. And the initiation is in a few days' time. Guy, get your A game on. Man, I don't know. This is dangerous. 
Guy, if you, when you succeed in this, you'll be the greatest investigative journalist Nigeria ever produced. Dude, I get it. So I need to act like them, right? See, your name will go down in history as a man who dared fear and walked into the den of danger to get the story of the year. Let's not even talk about the money you will make from this and then the fame. Eddie, this is a stupid idea. No, you are not only acting like them. You are going to become a part of them. Anything they ask you to do, you will do. Do you understand me? Guy, are you in or out? But you know I'm in. Get as much information as you can. And when you are done, get out. Yes. Guy, don't forget. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on prize. Good. So I will introduce you to this friend tomorrow. Okay. And he will take you to the initiation point. All right, bro. All right now. We'll see you later. Thanks, bro. Bye. Wow. <sighs> Babe. Chicks. Babe. Chooks. Babe, I'm listening. I told you not to pursue this story. But I'm not pursuing it. Please, don't lie to me. If you truly love me and my son, don't jeopardize our lives by keeping secrets from me. But I'm not... Stop! Please! My life is at risk. My son is not safe. My husband is reckless. My home is exposed. Babe, I'm in safe hands. Chooks, you are not. You have no idea what these people are capable of. These people are ruthless and barbaric. Please, don't put our lives at risk because of your unquenchable desire for wealth and recognition. It's not worth it. It's not. Promise me you'll withdraw from this case. I will. Chooks, our safety should be your top priority, right? Yes, it is. Please, promise me you will withdraw. I promise you. I promise you. Where is my daughter? What happened to her? How did she die? I would have killed her. Please tell me. How did she die? How did she die? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. You don't understand? But she is dead. Tell me. I will deal with you. I will tear you into pieces. I will tear you into pieces. Where is my daughter? Oh. Dad! I will Mom. deal with you, Builder. But oh. she's dead. She's dead. How? I will tear you into pieces. Give me back. I will tear you into pieces. Give me back. In your hands? Where is my daughter? Dad, I'm not dead. I'm here. You are dealing with the wrong family. Why did he do this? This is. But I thought it's right you love her. Why would you keep. What's going on? I'm scared! Hey. You're messing with me, Bero. Trust me. Ah. What? I love her. Honey, are you okay? Oh my god. It was a dream. A dream? Oh my god. It was a dream. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It was a dream. Okay, relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. Relax, relax. Okay. 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 <sighs>
Do, do, do you want to talk to me about it? Uh, oh my God, it was so real. Oh. Negro, it felt, it felt so real, people. Okay. It felt so real. Okay. Relax. Okay. I walked into the living room and I saw you. Okay. I saw my mom and my dad. And they were shouting at you. They were accusing you of killing me. They were just asking you, they were accusing you of killing me. They were just shouting. Where did you kill our daughter? Where is my daughter? You were like, I didn't kill her, I didn't kill her. <laughs> then I was standing right there. I was, I was, I was saying, Bero, Daddy, Mommy, I'm here, I'm right here, but nobody heard me. Nobody heard me. <laughs> it felt so real, Bero. <laughs> I was dead in the okay. I reject it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Please, please, let's talk to your dad. What? <laughs> what? You want to speak with my father? Yes. Yes. Please, let's talk to your dad. You, you want to speak with my father? Why? I knew it. You know, right now, I just feel you're not going to be of much help. This has always been my fear. What are you talking about? My father's view of life and how he takes things overly spiritual. No, I mean, and then, of course, and creating issues out of nothing is so contagious. If he is not taking you, start viewing life from his own lens. You know, you're not making sense. You're not. Really? If my father was not in the picture, you would not be having these stupid dreams. <sighs> yeah, that's the truth now. So what legacy do you want us to, to leave for our unborn children? Oh, that we built our lives on fabrics of fear and oppression, right? Biro, this is not English class. This is reality. My life is in danger and you're saying all this. Because of a stupid dream. Ben no, because I am not living right. We are not living right. Okay, honey, do you care to explain? Oh, God. Meru? Yeah. Are we married? No, we are not. Oh, we are not, right? Yeah. Okay. So why on earth are we sleeping together? Why are we doing this? Because we love ourselves and we are getting married soon. Ah. Whoever breaks the edge, the serpent will bite. Have you read that in the Bible? Yeah, so what? We have broken the edge of protection. Miro, we have broken it so many times. So many times. Annie. For God's sake, this is the reason why I avoided taking you to oh, my parents. Sincerely. We broke what's wrong with you. Can you just think? Can you use your brain? Not everything in life is about your parents. Not everything. Baby, something is wrong. Something is wrong. And we need to go back to God for help. Look, honey. All I have done is to love you. Should I go back to God to start asking for forgiveness for loving you? Yeah. If the devil wants to strike... No devil is going to strike! If the devil wants to strike, we have given him legal grounds to do so. We have! Look, God cannot strike us down. Because of because, because we love ourselves or something. No! It's not even a kind of God like that. We're going to get married, baby. But we're not married. God has not joined us together. God does not see us as one. Why are we breaking the foundation of our home even before building? Why? So, this dream is what is causing the wall, right? Oh my God, 
oh my god, Biro, this is not just a dream. It's about my life. My life is in danger. Don't you get it? My life is in danger, Biro. But you're safe with me. Oh, Jesus. Honey, do you love me? No, Biro. We're not talking about love. We're talking about my life. My life. My life is in danger. Don't you get that? Nothing is going to happen to us. God cannot strike us down because we love each other. He's not that kind of a God. Okay. okay. Please, can we talk to your dad? And tell him what? And tell him we need help. Help with what? Biru. Mm. My spiritual life has not been the same ever since we started doing this, sleeping together. <laughs> You may convince yourself that this is right, but I am not convinced that God is happy with us, with how we are living. God is not, he's not happy. Okay, Biro, Biro, please, please. If you won't go to your father, can, can, I, can I go, can I go meet him so that he will pray for me? Anyola, are you out of, out of your mind? Oh God, Biro, can you just be reasonable? What is all this? Be reasonable. I need restoration, I've lost God, and I need help finding God. Just be reasonable, Biro, come on. Anyola, don't speak with my father. <gasps> Leave my father out of the equation. <gasps> you see, we can as well get some, you know, married counselors and all that. Book an appointment with them. Other than my father, just leave my father out of the whole equation, please. There are many qualified ones, well-trained ones out there. We can book a session with them. Please, go back to bed. See you in the morning. <sighs> <sighs> Boss, a bag balag ba, room only, number one. What is it? A bag you have for me. What do you have for me? Boss. My boys have been restless for a while now. Pepe don't date their body. We are ready to attack. Eh? We are ready to go all out. What's your target? Ah, Excellence University, of course. We want to reclaim back our base. We want, to say, we want to make them know, say we don't come. Baba, since the last raid by the police, and the death of Rambo, our neighboring court has been making us a laughing stock now. No one won't take us serious again, Baba. But after this attack, after when we don't attack them, they're gonna say we don't arrive. We have started recruiting and training new members. And we are ready to go all out, Baba. You see, whatever you do with Excellent University is your business. My sole business is Martins. Bringing down Martins, that is my sole business. Martins? Yes, Martins. <laughs> Martins. Baba, if we want to make Martins go down today, we go do up. <laughs> I want him down since like yesterday. <laughs> well, Baba, I leave that one now. Uh. Yesterday don't go. Now today we day now. Nah. Eh? Exactly the point. What's the force over Martins, Baba? Waiting be all of these things, Martins, Martins everywhere, everywhere, just for every every ground, just full for Martins, Martins. Waiting the happen, yummy now. Commando, commando. Hmm. You see, you have the head that wears the crown, but you lack the head that carries the brain. Now, now, now. The main reason why I brought you out of prison is not for you to come out and um, play Superman or, or, or gather some fools all around or, or to set you some old scores. The main reason why I brought you out of prison is for you to bring down Martins. 
any other thing you do is inconsequential to me. But boss, calm down now. Drink water now. Chill. A problem deal. Eh? Problem day now. <sighs> what is it? Boss, manpower day. Eh? Every man day, then day on ground, stand by. Boys full ground everywhere. But now only material we don't get. We need arms. We need money. We need funds to purchase arms. We can get current material. We be say we go use carry out the operation. We be say if they come like this, we they do ta ta poo poo. They go just they fear or say person they come. Now you think where we need be that? Oh, it looks like you're not the same page. We need money, money ago, millions of naira. Millions of naira. Millions of naira for what? To get weapons now. Ah, about a weapon go do ammo. To get weapons. Ah. Commando, commando. Hmm. You see, when Lambo was the head, he was never a beggar. Lambo was never a fool. He used to what he had to get what he wanted. Boss. I don't be Rambo. I don't be Rambo. Exactly my point. You're not Rambo. You're commando. But why are you commando if you cannot command? Now, for the last time, my sole target is Martins. Now, the next time you pick up the phone to call me, I expect results. Now, I brought you out of prison. Make no mistake. I will not hesitate to deliver you back there. Do you understand me? Fool. Ah! 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 Ah, boss. <laughs> Guys, just relax now. Ah, what you can't be the way forward now? You go make one. Have you the fear? I go fear. Yeah. Forget about that thing. Go make one. Don't worry. Okay. Have you forget about the school? May we just, may we just do the paro? May we carry that one. Waka. Compass. Drop that one. Forget about waiting. <sighs> ah. How will the neighboring court members go? No, say we don't do. I want me to know, say I don't arrive. Commando don't call. Eh. Show the hear me. Ah, they hear your ah. yeah. But you remember, say boss don't tell us. Say, that but... one. I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't care. Boss, that one. Don't do me strong thing, say, say. And my time be this. I've come a long way. Eh? I'm here to stay and stand. I be you the fear. Ah, go the fear. Wait till be that one. Ah. Forget about that thing. Ah. Ah. Wait. Okay, okay. I will come to do it now. I, no, I go come to where people go rest. Now, nothing to do now. To me. Only go come. Uh, now, my own headache. Okay. Make a no sound for my body. You have money go come. I go yarn love you now. Change okay. the feel me. I de feel you. I de feel you. I de feel you. I de feel you. I die. Oh, yeah. Oh, Allah. Don't pass. I de. I die. I de. Choose Baba. And you, your daffo. Only I thought you were talking about mother. Tama mo lale demo ti wale wale. Ere le re ra nuro do gbanu gba soro waja oro. To ka fa nu so. Enu o ka ni kusi. Nje oni bode bo bode kin to wale yo. Agwala mo bode osu. A ja osu pa ni mi mo bode feledu mare oba. Bale bale ni kirikiji gbagbo. Ba ti ba ti dudu awon kon ko so won agbaju. Oh. Eyin chusi. 
Ile mba Ore Lubu lubu oju olo ti mo nwi re ase kagbanu atakere yodun owa alafia re da Tu ona i won pa ni nkan lori o ana wa alafia re ha eyo mba Ori lubu lubu oju olo mo fun ohun bo ba ti di laaro n gbogbo ogba o ma je oju ba nlo sa bologun ti nyo sa o lo ba tan eh baba won ko so how often should i take this eh e du na se o ti e wa gbo yo ba kankan ni ani bo ti nwo yi baba wu o o le fo mi je baba wu o le fo kele je bo sa ti ma je bo ba ti n jade lo oju ba nlo sa bologun ti nyo sa o ko le ba je fun bo ti yo je oju ba nlo ire o Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, men of the press, the students in our government, representative, the party agent, and everyone here present. As you all know that we just concluded counting the vote that will bring in the new leader and the president of our school. I have here in my hand the results of the election. And I know all of us here, we are anxious of hearing the results. Good. The vote was counted right before your eyes. And no one have any chance of cheat or do any manipulation. I can beat my chest that this was a credible election, the best we have had in this school so far. <laughs> Thank you. So therefore, I want us to listen attentively as I read the results. Um, Comrade Markin Daniels put a total vote of 52 votes. <laughs> Comrade Dele Adegbola pull the total vote of 2,529 votes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So therefore, by the power conferred on me as the returning officer of this student union government presidential election, I hereby declare Comrade Dele Adebola return elected. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. At this juncture, I will say, God bless Student Union Government, Excellence University, and God bless Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless. A word of advice. Don't get too comfortable because you will not last. What?
guy. What's yeah. that? What's what? What you are taking? I'm taking power. Power? Yeah. The old man introduced me to. He provided it and he said from time to time I should be taking it. it makes me ten times stronger than myself and I've been feeling it since I've been taking it. Really? Yes. Let me see. He's a good man. Let me see. He's working. The man knows his work. Chooks. Yes? Have you seen weed before? No, not really. I'm afraid that's what he gave you. What? Yes, guy. You've been consuming weed. You mean this is not a charm? Guy, I know weed and it's definitely not. <laughs> It can't be because anytime I take this thing, I feel brave, I feel stronger. I feel like entering the lion's den right now. Uh, he means he gave you quality wheat. <laughs> uh, you're kidding me. I'm not kidding you. Man, we have to go back. Go back where? I paid for this thing. We have to go back and get guy. Eyes on the price. Focus, focus, focus. Don't forget. Eyes on the price. Eyes what? Eyes what? On the price. And let's focus on what we are doing here. Uh -uh. I paid for this thing now. Leave that one. Uh, yes, come in. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Mazins, good afternoon. Yes, sir. Uh, you sent for me, sir. Yes, I did. I did. Okay. Um, I need you to help me do some transaction at um, IB's Community Bank. Okay. You know. okay. The bank is very close to our school here. Okay. Um, and I need it done today. Today? Yeah. This is the check. All right, sir. Oh, okay, sir. All Thank right, you. All Thank right, you sir. very much. All right, sir. Yeah. This guy did too bad this man. Come pass. <laughs> Come on, we wait for you, small. Uh, uh, Waiting this up. No problem. I did all right now. So this is the guy I told you about. He's a huge fan of Commando, and he wants to join the Red On Confraternity. Uh, what about you? Uh, uh, what about me? <laughs> Why are you not joining? Baba, you know how this thing is now. Uh, you can't be in two parties. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you know how it is on the streets. You can't be in two courts at the same time. Baba, I don't think he give you fake products now. This guy is tried and tested. <laughs> What's your name? Chooks is my name. Are you ready to join Red On Fraternity? Uh -uh. He's ready now. Look at him. I'm not asking you. I can sense fear. Baba, fear, okay. Yeah, no. This guy is not afraid of anything. Baba. This guy no be our type. Fear. Don't dare in face this guy now, Bolo. Do you know what they call me? I don't care. I'm Chooks the Calculus. <laughs> you were there supposed to be called calculator, you call yourself Calculus. You will be a Bolo, what they do you? Uh, they do you. I'm not your regular. Are you mad? What did they walk you? You know what my eyes don't see? What do I see? Ba. What do your eyes don't see? Bro, open this dim which you bring, come here. Ba, ba, ba. 
No. What other fraternities are begging for my attention? I'm not talking about school courtism. I'm talking about people that matter in the society. You are a joker. Did you just call me a joker? Come on, my face, yo. It's all bolo. It waka. In case you don't know, I drink blood for a living, and I eat flesh for snacks. And you just called me a joker. Come pass. <laughs> this guy is dangerous. I have trained Ayad as a sin. At the mention of my name, people tremble. Politicians, they tremble when they mention my name. And here you are calling me a joker. Calculus, calm down. Calm down. He needs to know this. I'm the first and the only trained hitman in this country. I had my training in Iraq. And I operated in Afghanistan. And here you are, standing before me, calling me a joker. Calculus, I beg. Please. Please. Ah. Oh. I will show you who the real joker is. Kakulos. Kakulos. Come pass, do something. Wait. How come I know nothing about you? Because you know nothing about the secrecy of the underworld. What? You know nothing about the blood and the glory. And I guess you know nothing about the heat of Martins and Sonia. I am the one that the secret seers are begging to get them down. Who are you? I'm Kakulos. Choose Kakulos. Now take me to your boss, you joker. Guys, so this is the blueprint. Now all of my guys, change the food. This is the front. We are bad as bad as that. So you need A to play for front. You need B to play for back. I beg, I need it. Compass. Why you bring this Jew come here now? You know I see they go now. Boss. This guy won't be long. He won't join Red Ons. Compass. They met. Let's see they walk you. Boss, nothing they walk me. Nothing they walk me. See this guy, not tested and trusted. They don't vet this guy. I do okay. How you take me? Okay, boss. If you need somebody with the intelligence, call this guy. This guy, the number one Hitman. The guy trained for Iraq. Come take and work for Afghanistan. Compass. Be like say they don't serve you hot beans for hot money. How they chop her? You don't they... chop this one. <clears throat> you don't chop him already. Clean your mouth. Eh? Why do why, why you say person who don't sit you down? Open your mouth wide, they feed you with lies, they chop out, digest them, not to put one and remain. Ah, boss, don't be like that. You see this guy, he knows about the secret seers of the underworld. He knows about Matis. He knows about Sonya. This guy knows about Matis. They paid him a huge amount of money. Why? Why you come stay with me? You don't say I don't get money where I won't give up. Why can't they bring gang come here? <laughs> Suppose don't understand that paro now. As they pay the guy and go cage him, the guy won't be free. No say every day I go there free. And the guy like us. He won't be long. Now opportunity. You they sure? Ah uh ah. -uh. This one. Now the girl sure of us.
Who you be? Who be you? Be you who? My name is Calculus. Chooks Calculus. AKA CC. Strongest hitman this country has ever produced. Am I in or out? Because I don't have all day. Nice one. Ah, the MD walk. Wow, nice one. Nice one. Ah, I don't know. Who, like, who can I call? I know who to call. I know just who to call. Oh, this is not good. Hello. See, I got an intelligence report. There's going to be a robbery at Ibis Community Bank today. And if your people do not get there on time, blood will spill. Who are you? Hello. Yes? Morning, sir. Morning, officer. I just got a report now. What report? There is a bank robbery going on, sir. Okay. Your phone. For what? Let me have that phone. What did you need my phone for? Martin's true son, ya.
hopes and dreams in the heart of every man There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other Jealousy, envy and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover But as for people of God standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails Far beyond the darkness and over all principalities And far beyond the present evil that we see That is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures But as for people who God Standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails There are kingdoms in this world But we belong to the kingdom of heaven